you know, it's really mind blowing that there's people that's still supporting the Democrat Party, man. Um, I sound a bit redundant, man. I keep repeating things over and over and over again. And sadly, it's falling on deaf ears. Um, I want to ask you guys, man, to share this video, man. You know, share the video. Um, because what I see this happening in this country is insane. You got issues like Jackson, Mississippi, that, that's got that water crisis. You still have Flint, Michigan with problems. You have New York City, the, the violence and, and rent is skyrocketing like crazy. People are fleeing the states that they live in. And the thing that don't make sense to me at all is that people are fleeing California and New York to move to Republican states just to vote for the same people that created the problems where you fled from. Why? Why would you vote the same way you did when you, from the place you fled from, why would you still vote that way? Because apparently it's not working. You have Kathy Hochul that's soft on crime and disarming legal gun owners. And people are fleeing. And if you notice, a lot of these same politicians that's creating these environments, writing these laws, passing these laws, they're leaving the same state where they created all of this havoc, they're leaving going to other places. Like you have the governor or the mayor of California left and went to Florida or Texas. So now they're fleeing to Florida and Texas, Republican states, getting away from the environment that they created themselves. And you're still there voting for them. I want you guys to watch two videos. Check this out. That don't make no sense. I got a hundred dollar water that I just paid and I can't use the water. I am angry about this water crisis because this don't make no sense. We ain't had no water for two months almost so you can't afford to buy water when you're in a pizza car and nobody on this side of town is giving away any water all the water being given away is out here on south out there in south jackson i blame the city and the mayor and everybody working downtown ain't doing their job no you got to blame yourselves because this is only happening in the black communities in the democratic black communities. Blame yourselves because you keep voting the same people in office that's feeding you the same empty dreams. Every single time, black people have to go through this. And you're complaining, talking about what people downtown are not doing, but yet these are the people that you voted. Stop voting Democrat. Because every time we turn around, we have this problem. This don't make no sense. How y'all doing? Uh, this is a message to all you New Yorkers. My question to y'all is, what are y'all still doing here? Honestly, what are y'all still doing here? Like, y'all don't get it? Oh, y'all don't get it, right? All right, let me give you a quick update. <clears throat> so basically, like, enabled to work in New York, anywhere in the city, you got to be this right you got to be that to work anywhere in the city right so basically you got forced to take these shots not just that but the rent out here is crazy like a one bedroom apartment in the bronx listen to me a one bedroom apartment in the bronx runs about 1800 or two thousand dollars a month right Five flights of stairs, no elevator, in the hood, in the middle of nowhere, in the hood, in the Bronx, uh, uh, towards life anymore. Nobody 
gives a damn about you, nobody. Everybody's in secret competition with you. You have our young men out here robbing old folks. Like, like everything that's good is bad, and everything that's bad is good, right? It's like upside down. Or everything just got switched, right? Not just that, right? Let's not. It's like the wild, wild west. Not just that, but also the drugs out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's gotten even worse, you know, ever since the, the, the opioid pen, uh, crisis, right? That we're still going through, right? With all the fentanyl out here in the streets, killing uh, all, all our young men and, and women and, and all the people hooked up on drugs and stuff like that. Uh, so that's another thing, right? Let's, let, not just that, but um, the, the cost of living out here is, is like, as you can see, you go to the supermarket, everything has gone up all across the country. So imagine in New York or in, or, or in these major cities, right? Where in New York, it was already pretty expensive to live here a uh, prior pandemic then after everything with the inflation and, and everything going on you could just imagine how much it is to 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 uh for just a, a, the the basic cost of living like okay you know who's going to benefit you know who don't have to pay that high inflation do you know who don't have to worry about those high rent prices the illegal immigrants, they're able to be bust wherever they want to go in this country. There are some that's, that's living in plush hotels. They're given free health care, free education. They don't even have to be innated. They don't have to be that. They're coming here and you see them getting off the bus, giving signs you know, smiling because now they're in America and they have a free place to live. Guess where your tax dollars are going? Your tax dollars are going to them and it's going to the Ukraine. Biden is constantly sending billions of dollars over there instead of dealing with the crisis that's in Flint, Michigan, that's in Mississippi, that's in California, that's in New York. But guess what? Those politicians don't have to worry about that. Look what Governor Hochul is doing. She had just got done saying for Republicans. They, she said that Republicans are not welcome in New York and said that we should leave. Right now, a lot of your Democrats that's in California, New York, that's in New York. You got families that's conservatives. She's telling your family members that they are not welcome because they are not on their side. See, so the Democrats are creating this problem. They created this problem. And things are going to get worse as long as you keep voting them into office. When are you going to get tired of having to deal with this? Are you that committed and dedicated to the Democrat Party, do you hate the Republicans that much? Do you hate Trump that much? And Biden is using the same talking points. He's talking about fund the police. And then in the same breath, he's talking about how blacks have to tell their kids to put their hands on the steering wheel, making mockery of you. And you're out there cheering and supporting him to keep him in office, to continue suffering. We're living in perilous times. Joe Biden. So, hey, listen, this is on y'all, right? Um, again, it's like, it makes no sense. Why are you guys complaining? And you're going to keep voting these same demons into office. It makes no sense to me.